Hey YouTube, Dare to Vlog here. Um, couple things I would like to say. Um, I got to see Brian, which his new uh, name for his channel is Carillos. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm kind of out of it today, guys. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, uh, I just watched his video of pretty much a shout out to me because I'm not feeling well and everything. And also, I do appreciate that, Brian. Thank you very much, bro. Thank you for having my back like that. Um, but yeah, as of um, what's going on with me when it comes to that and everything. Brian is partially right. Yes, I am having chest pains right in here in the chest area and everything. And it, and like he said, and everything, it's not my heart. It's the, uh, bone that's in the, uh, bone, uh, sternum, sternum, stern. Oh God, I can't remember the name of it. But it's the bone that practically connects your ribs, basically. Uh, that is where it's hurting, and it feels like there's a lot of pressure on it and everything. And it kind of makes me feel like I'm out of breath. So I've been having that for a couple, almost a week now. So tomorrow I'm going to try my best to get to an ER, and I'm going to vlog it. So <laughs> y'all going to be... Joining the ride on my next video, um, did try to see what's going on with that because, you know, that's something to really need to check. Um, but I have been hearing from other people what it, their possibilities of what it could be. Um, let's see. Oh god. I'm sorry guys, I'm just totally out of it right now. Um But yeah, one of the uh possibilities is uh because of the fact that I used to work in a call center for like the past 3 to 5 years and all of a sudden, I'm starting at a job that I'm, like, on my feet constantly, moving my body constantly and everything. That I could be, uh, straining the, uh, the, uh, oh, what do you call it? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm totally out of it. Pretty much straining it to the point where it's... You know, kind of like how, uh, when you, like, do something a lot, and, like, for example, if you haven't lifted weights, and you do a shit ton of weight lifting, and then all of a sudden your whole body sore to the point where you have to, like, give your body a rest type thing, that's one of the possibilities that I've heard. I could be straining that muscle right in my chest and everything that's causing it to bruise and stuff like that. Uh, another possibility, which is another thing that I'm honestly kind of thinking it could be it. But like I said, I'm going to have the official word tomorrow. But, uh, one of the things that was said that I personally feel like that could be it is that, uh, that I might start, I might be starting to have, uh, oh, what's that, psych, the, where you get so stressed out or so, uh, shit, so stressed out, so, um, 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 Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, anxiety. That's the word. Tight. You're, like, doing it so much, like, getting so stressed out that you start having, like, a... Or, like, a... Like, a... 
one of the coworkers said that I'm mo most likely because I noticed that while I'm working it hurts the most, but yet if I sit down and not really do anything, that pain somewhat goes away. It's still there, but it the like on a scale of one to ten, it dies down a couple of notches. He says it could be where I'm having so much anxiety and some panicking, basically, to the point where I could be having, like, somewhat of a panic attack. Not quite a panic attack, but it could be a possibility. Which, that is a scenario I can go with because of the fact that I've been in call center jobs for a while and that does cause you to get anxiety like bad <laughs> that and then plus I used to have panic attacks while I was with my ex so every time that me and her argued and I get so fucking frustrated and pissed off and everything to the point where I start having panic attacks so yeah that is a most likely scenario that where I can be like, yeah, that could be what it could be. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to try to go to the ER tomorrow to try to get an official word. Um. So thank you, Brian, for vlogging. Tell me how much you worry. Oh, that actually makes me feel better. Makes me feel like at least somebody cares for me. Um, he did mention that I did uh, make my new YouTube channel for Magic the Gathering. Which is called Planes Walking Dare. Um, I do not have any videos up on it, unfortunately. Because my original plan, like the original plan was... I would buy a couple of products and have that as my first video and everything. But there's been a couple of things that happened to the point where I ended up having to run out of money. <laughs> so I couldn't buy the new products that came out. Well, since it's already. 229 and my computer saying it's October 4th the the uh, set came out two days ago which I'm kind of sad that I didn't get to get any of the products but I'm going to try to do so on this Thursday or Friday coming up because that's when I'm going to get paid next so I'm going to try to buy the product do my unboxing and I'm going to do it different because most people on when they uh on YouTube that when they do like a unboxing they do one item of the time like for example if it's a fat pack they're going to do the fat pack and then have another video for one intro pack and stuff like that see what I'm going to go ahead and do spoiler um is to actually buy one fat pack, one intro pack, and one one fat pack, one intro pack, and then one booster pack. And how I'm going to go ahead and do it is I'm going to open up the intro pack, show off the constructed deck that it comes with, and save the uh, booster packs that the two booster packs that comes with the intro pack. And then I'm going to open up the fat pack where I'm going to show off the the booklet pamphlet that looks similar to this here. And everything has a front and back and stuff like that. I'm going to show that off, show off my spin down die, um, put the deck, box, deck boxes together and stuff. And then op and open up the uh, 80 art land uh, cards that comes with the fat pack. And save the 9 booster packs that comes with the fat pack. 
until after showing everything, then I'm going to open all booster packs simultaneous. Well, I, I wouldn't say simultaneously, but I'm going to be opening them in a group of six. Because with one booster pack, two booster packs from the intro pack, so that makes three right there. And then the nine makes twelve. Twelve booster packs right then and there. That's pretty much one third of a deck of a uh of a uh booster box so i'm gonna be opening those up all together and but i'm gonna break it up in six reason why i'm wanting to do that because i know some people are going to be like why would you want to do that well the reason why i'm doing that is because in pre-releases, as of recently, they changed the pre-release where now you get six booster packs instead of the five booster packs plus one seated pack. Now they have it to the point where you get six booster packs. So you can. So that's pretty much a limited format uh style where you open up the six booster packs and then you would have to build a 40 card deck out of those six packs that you just cracked so that's how i'm gonna go ahead and do it open the first six packs and then open up another six packs and have the two piles separate from each other and then that will be the end of that video and then I might make another video right after that. That will be more of a uh, kind of a tutorial of how to build a con a uh, limited format construct or what they call it a sealed constructed deck, um, which is not that hard to really figure out. But, kind of show how the shit works like that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna, the two, the first two videos I'm planning on doing, which is gonna be sometime on Thursday or Friday. So that be like the 8th or 9th. And then after that, I'm gonna try to figure out what else I can do on Magic the Gathering wise. And post it on that channel. Um. Uh. What else I want to talk about. Here my nephew crying. So if you're hearing something. If you're watching the video. And you hear. What sounds like a. Child crying and all. That's probably my nephew. Um. I was watching Heroes Reborn last night on my on the uh cokeandpopcorn.com website. <sighs> Man, Heroes is uh, is one of those shows I loved when it came out. I remember watching all five, well, is it five or four seasons of Heroes? Oh my god, dude. I'm kind of sad right now that they don't have all the old characters like Hero Nakamura, Matt Parkman, uh uh Peter Petrelli, um Claire Bennett. They have some of the have mentioned or actually showed some of the old characters like Noah Bennett is in it, which I'm like, yes! Um, they mentioned Dr. Suresh and showed like a picture of him, but not, he hasn't made his debut yet. Um, Renee, I think that's his name, or whatever, the, the, uh, the uh, black guy that used that would work with Noah Bennett when uh, Noah Bennett was with uh, Primatech 
in the throughout the whole hero series, the black guy that can like erase your memories and shit by touching you and everything. He's he made his debut and then he gets shot like two minutes after. <laughs> like 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 I was like, what the fuck when that happened? Um so I got to watch that, so I'm happy. So far, um, I feel like it's not having as much of that, of that, uh, spark or that ignition that, uh, the original heroes had. But I'm still watching it. I'm still enjoying it. Um, what else was I doing the other days? Let's see. I I think my, on my last vlog I said I was going to watch the new episode of Agents of Shield which I which honestly that shit just made me excited especially when they showed Lash which is the inhuman oh my god dude I was like yes um what else was I watching? There was no new episode of For Lost Girl, which I'm sad. Um, no, the new episode of Once Upon a Time is coming tomorrow, which won't air on the uh, website until the day after. Um, Constantine, I don't think they're having that. Like, last thing I've heard about the Constantine show, um, was they're trying to get enough hype, I should say, to try to do, like, a second season, but so far no one's biting, I should say. Um, personally, I feel like it is a really good show. Like, Constantine is really a good show. I like the, uh... I think his name's like Matt Ryan or the the guy who plays John Constantine. He's really fucking awesome. I think he does a really brilliant job. Um what else? Agent Carter. I don't know what's going on with that. There's nothing for Game of Thrones. I haven't even heard if anybody knows when season 6 of Game of Thrones start, comment down below or whatever. Because I'm really wondering what the fuck's going on with that. Um, <laughs> let's see. And I don't think Su Supergirl starts until November. But I do, but they do have the, uh episode one already on the website which is supposed to air in november but it's a pilot everybody's going to try to see that shit first um i have not started the fear of the walking dead yet which i should try to start it but i just haven't yet um but brian's told me it's a really good show so i'm Hoping to watch it here soon. <sighs> Sorry guys. Um, What else? I did find one of my jewelries. Which people who know me knows that I don't really wear jewelry all that much. I will buy it if it looks cool. But I don't really normally wear it. But, let me get the, get it on. Get on there. There it is. Bam. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Oh! Phone abuse! Phone abuse! I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's the Grim Reaper, basically, with two red eyes, which are gems and stuff.
like I said, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Like, I can see it on my phone, but not in good detail. It's, like, inverted. But, yeah. My ring. Haha. <laughs> my bling bling. Um. But, yeah. I found that, which I bought that at Rock and Range. Last, the last year or the year before, which was the only times I've ever did went to Rock and Range. Um, which was with my ex, unfortunately. Um, what else? Yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of discussing about what's going on with me. Um, oh yeah, and Brian, like, yeah, I can somewhat, uh, see where you're coming from in terms of you feeling like I do better vlogs and all, but honestly, I, I just go ahead and just do whatever the fuck I feel like doing. Um, I don't plan this shit out. I don't really try to do much of anything, to be truthfully honest. Um, but, uh, I do appreciate that you honestly do feel that I am, uh, good at this and vlogging stuff and everything and I do appreciate that but honestly Brian I feel like you do a good job as well and personally I feel like you do a better job even though yes you you might not know exactly what to talk about or and kind of feel like you get stuck a bit and all but you know I do the same same exact shit so it's like I you know I don't know how to really answer that, but yeah, honestly, I just feel like you do a bit better than me just because of the fact that, well, one, you have, it seems like uh, you have your phone set on something so it's propped up and everything. Me, I'm holding my phone while it's on charge, and I don't really have anything for me to prop it up to, so... So my camera is all wiggly, 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 wiggly. Um, what else? Um, but yeah, honestly, I feel like you do a better job, though. And yeah, I know Daniel is better than both of us combined, plus an extra 10 years wise, but... But yeah, honestly, Brian, like, you do a really good job. You really do, bro. On um, and I do enjoy, I should say, in terms of uh, wh what you do on your channel and everything. Honestly, you might not know what you're really talking about and stuff. And you kind of like have that presence of like kind of skittish towards the camera and everything. But that's what I honestly like about the vlogs because it kind of shows me how human you are and everything when you're showing up when you're showing your fuck ups and everything because like if I try to look at any other vlogs and stuff it kind of makes me feel like they're scripted and and everything else and they don't really show how kind of feel like it's all scripted out and they're faking everything and stuff but with us me and you it and everything we are actually showing our fuck ups on our videos and stuff and i feel like that makes our vlog special and better and stuff is because we give the people like hey we're human, we make mistakes, we fuck up a lot, and shit like that. And that's why I enjoy watching your videos and stuff. Because, like, if we did it the same way, like, how Daniel does it, where cut in and out and stuff like that, editing to the point where it 
it's like a major time skip uh, or like just editing to the point where we act like we know what we're saying and everything else like that it would make me like honestly it kind of makes me feel like I'm failing people when they watch my vlogs because honestly if I'm watching a vlog I want to see how human that person is instead of them being scripted and edited and shit like that. I'd rather see the actual whole, like, good, the bad, the ugly, the cute, everything. <laughs> so, honestly, bro, like, I don't feel like you need to do anything with your vlogs. They're still good and everything and stuff but it hell I'm not going to argue with you either when you're going to tell me that you feel like mine's better um I'm not going to argue with you on that and when it <laughs> when it comes to you and your beard and <laughs> and your uh just for men uh Honestly, bro, I I really don't want to crack jokes and everything because honestly, I'm kind of in the same boat. Not quite, but somewhat in the same boat. Like I mostly am like brown haired and brown bearded and, you know, just brown collar hair. Or brunette. But. I do have bits of gray in my beard. I have bits of blonde in my hairs. And like. I've. I've only found one strand of redhead. Ginger. <laughs> but. But I am. Like how you said it. A mutt. <laughs> In terms of uh, having mixed collards. But I'm not in your case of where one's brown, one's red, one's blonde or anything. Mine's like it blends in with each other to the point where it does look like I'm all brunette. But if you really like you literally have to like pull my hairs and actually look at it. Where I have some grays, I have some blondes, I have different colors too so i understand where you're coming from bro uh, so that's why i don't want to crack jokes like that um but it, it was pretty funny i did laugh at that part of your video vlog uh as of right now i'm gonna probably go ahead and end this vlog and upload it and stuff and then like i said i will go ahead and vlog tomorrow my way to the ER, me being in the ER and stuff, and stuff like that, and then make it as one whole video type shit, and then upload it onto YouTube that way, uh, so I'm kinda gonna be doing the whole time skips thing, so I do apologize if everybody who does watch my videos feel the same way, like I just explained, where we're like, I want to see how human you are. I want to see your fuck ups. I want to see everything. Um, so I do apologize, but I'm gonna do that. Um, but yeah, as of right now, I hope everybody's enjoying their Saturday. Well, now it's Sunday since it's three in the morning. Uh, so yeah, this is Dare to Vlog, and I'm gonna say peace. Out.